Hi friends. If you click to check out another shadow showdown between Mel Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow Palette and Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Shadow Palette, then please keep on watching. Hi, my name is Alicia. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you're returning, well, thank you for visiting me again. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves things all movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeup, you can head over to my Instagram. I have review videos for each of the palettes. If you want to head over to those and see specific product details, the swatches, and four looks using each palette, I will post that video link up above and down below. Today we're taking them head to head, comparing the shades in each palette that are similar in tone, and seeing if we can buy one or the other or neither. For instance, if you already have the rust palette do you really need supreme news you have supreme news if you don't want the rust if you don't have either of them then which one will be best for you and with the upcoming sephora spring sale i believe both these products are available on sephora.com the meantime if they are available during the spring sale hopefully they are if you had your eye on either of these palettes one eye will be rust one eye will be artist contour i think we'll do two looks from each to compare the shades and yeah well that said let's get started and you know what that means That's enough. Keeping it a little wider today so we can see the comparisons and differences in action. But before that, you need to prep these eyelids, Alicia. Oh, look, we prep with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Let's start off with Supreme News. I think I want to start off with Eccentric as I think that is most similar to the rubbish shade in the melt palette and we could see how that works out when both of them go head to head starting off with the centric on this eye with my wing goss number 16. third time going in as i want to build the color so we can see any differences and or similarities all right that is eccentric on one eye now let's go in with rubbish and with this application i'm using a nissum g35 all right this is actually quite interesting i would say these two are very similar they are i would probably think rubbish has a little more punch to it i think it has a little more saturation and i feel the mattes from mel also bring in a lot on the first application whereas with the artist couture you can build it up which i like i feel like i have to be careful with melt mattes going in on the first application because it could be a lot on that first brush dip but what do you guys think i'm actually going to cut down the exposure maybe we can see the shade a little bit better because they're they're both very similar in tone i think maybe this one from Rust has a little more, like just a tinge more yellow to it. This is Rubbish and this is Eccentric. Yeah, I feel like Rubbish might have a little more mustard to it, like the slightest bit more. And I think that's why it's turning out to be a little more mustard in hue, whereas Eccentric still leans a little more brown than mustard. So it really all depends on how much you love or don't love mustards. Maybe you really like a lot or maybe you want it to be more brown than mustard. The next shade I want to go in with is with Rust and Aesthetic. Now, judging from this footage alone, I feel like Rust has a lot more red in it, but we'll see when we layer these shadows on. Taking Aesthetic from the Supreme Nudes palette, Masonagy. Crease Pro. I'm gonna tap that on the outer corner. I like to tap on first before I start swirling and twirling as I feel I have more control with that application. All right, so that definitely gave us a lot of smoke. You saw it really deepened up the shade that we applied first. Taking a little more eccentric just to further blow that out. All right, smoke it. Now rust from Melt with my refer number 14. Again, tap first and then swirl. Oh yeah, I think I see definitely more red here than I do with the Artist Couture shade. I think maybe the rust shade from Rust has more of a red base or a little more red in its base versus Aesthetic has more brown. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely think there is more red here present in the rust. And you might love that. Maybe you want more of like a neutral red looking shade instead of it looking more red in tone overall. What do you think? 
They both look gorgeous. I think it's just a matter of choosing your color preference. I did not go in with this shade on the first Supreme News video, so I want to go in with Opulence as our primary lid shade. I'm going to press first and then start to pull it across the lid and tap. That is amazing. I mean, the shine on this is crazy. That was a selfish mood because I could have done lavish and tarnish together. If you want to quickly see those comparisons, this is tarnish from Melt, and this is lavish from Supreme Nudes. So you see that tarnish has a little more of a bronzy hue, and I think lavish is such an interesting color. It's almost like... It has, I think, green. It says it had gold reflex in there, but there's something going on with that shade. It's a gorgeous shade. With that said, I definitely want to go in with Tarnish. I think that probably is more closely related to Opulence, but I feel just off the bat, Opulence has a little more copper to it. You see how Tarnish is more of a gold bronze situation. I feel like Opulence definitely has a lot more texture to the shade, but I really love how smooth Tarnish is. Dare I say, it's a touch easier to apply, especially when you're doing so with a brush. I'm just tapping rust around the edges of the Tarnish shade to make everything look smearer than even. Wiping that brush taking the aesthetic shade from Supreme Nudes and doing the same here on this lid. What do we think? They're very similar, absolutely. You can see that there's a little more like copper present here and there's a little more like a bronze gold hue altogether on that eye. I will say from using both palettes, I really love the reflex here in Supreme News. I think they have a touch more shine than the ones in the Rust palette. And the Rust metallics are far better than I feel a lot of the metallics found in the Melt eyeshadow palette. So they're both great, but there's, I feel, a little more shine and reflectivity that exists in the metallics found in Supreme Nudes. I want to take Lavish and use that as our inner corner highlight for our Artist Couture side and just use the same tarnish shade for the inner corner on our melt side. All right, I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup, do the lower lash line off camera, and basically I'll just apply the same mattes we apply for each eye, slap on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Close up of both looks on the Liz, I have the Ardell Naked Lashes in the style 421. And here's a look of both metallic shades. I'm so sorry, the clouds just rolled in aggressively, and now I had to bump up my exposure and I look very gray, but I just wanted to show you up close the differences in tones if it's somewhat kind of easy to see. On the lips, I have the Mel Thompson and Christian Aldette collab lip liner in the shade Smooches with the Artist Couture Supreme Nude Silk Cream Lipstick in the shade Power Play. Oh, we warmed up a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Camera. Between the two looks, from first glance, you probably couldn't tell that I'm wearing two different eyeshadow palettes. Well, I will say though, despite how more metallic and shiny I feel the, the shade is from Supreme Nudes, I feel I'm getting a little more depth of body from the Melt mattes. And that's not to say that the Supreme Nude mattes are not good. I think they're actually very creamy and easy to blend, very easy to use, easy to layer. And I was successful in that when I did my Supreme Nude review video in creating four looks with that palette. But you can just see that we have a little more smokiness and depth from the Melt Rust Palette Eye. And like I said, I like the metallics from Supreme Nudes better, but if you are deeper complected, I do feel you're gonna get a little more from the Rust Palette from the matte shades. I just think they have a little more saturation and we haven't even dived into the dark brown shades from each palette, which we'll do in the next demo, that the Rust Palette has Mar and Rot. These two mattes here, I feel, give crazy depth, whereas the Artist Couture Palette only has that one mink shade. So we'll put them head to head, see what we can create. And also the other standout difference is that Artist Couture has that olive metallic and there are no olives in the Rust Palette. So we'll We'll put them together, see what we could come up with. I'll be back here in a minute and hopefully the clouds decide to move a little bit. Thank you so much. Sun is in, it's out, it's in, it's out. I really can't decide. Ooh, that looks crazy. I decided to 
keep the concealer off until I'm done with both looks. Then I'll put the concealer on so I don't look so nuts. <sighs> the shade that I want to start with from Supreme Nudes that, mm, let me, oh, I don't know. I feel we pretty much did like the main comparisons. Oh my God, so great. Perhaps another standout difference is the fact that Supreme Nudes has cool tones, whereas the Rust has like peach, mac and cheese yellow rubbish which is what we already saw already but i want to get into these shades so you know what i'll do i'll actually on purpose use distinctly cooler shades from the supreme news just so that we can see that difference in action stand by friends i want to wait till this rolls over so we could get better light i'll be right back <gasps> we're back look at this lighting hopefully it'll stay it's raining though I'll take the rain, just keep the light, okay? Like I said in the last clip, I wanna start distinctly cooler. Let's go in with Silhouette, Wayne Goss number 16, and I made sure to wipe the brush before I started blending so we don't have any remnants of eccentric and changing the color on us. And already Silhouette looks great. This shade definitely doesn't exist in the Rust palette. It's all distinctly warm, bronzy, yellowish in tone, mustardy in tone. We already saw rubbish in action. I think I'm just gonna go in with Antique because they're very different, but that's like the only medium shade I feel I can go in with before we go in with the super dark mattes from Rust. These are two totally different colors. So good though, this makes it very interesting. Now in with Mink. This is with my rougher number 15. It is coming down out there. You can definitely build up mink to show up richer in tone, but this is the deepest dark brown that exists in the Supreme Nudes palette. And if you want something darker, then you will have to find that in the rot shade. So again, this is mink and this is rot. I mean, you can clearly see the depth of color that you're gonna get from Rot versus Mink. And I would say if you want even, even smoke your shade, if you're deeper complected than me and you want that smokiness, you probably won't find it in Supreme News. But if you wanted to treat Supreme News as your daily, then maybe you don't want that much smoke for the day to begin with. So it kinda is all up to you in terms of how you wanna use the palette ultimately. Let's go in with Mar first. Tapping that on with my Isum S33. Now in comparison to Mink, Mar has a little more warmth to it. And if my skin tone are lighter, maybe you will wanna stop here. But if you want a little more smoke, you definitely will have to go in with Rot to get that intensity. Yeah, these are totally different tones. We're all cool here on the Supreme Nude side and getting a little warmer here on the Rust side. Now with Rot, my reference number 16, this shade definitely packs a punch. I'm going in as carefully as I can to control the application. Again, you wanna tap first before you start sweeping because sometimes, depending on the consistency of the shadow, if you go in swiping right away, you might lose control of the blend and it might travel up too high. Taking a little more antique, just to feather out the edges. Look at the depth and intensity from Rot. And I know I have a little bit of a patch there. Thing is because for me and melt mattes, I try not to layer more than two because i feel beyond that they're hard to stick i do feel rust is the best out of all the 10 pen palettes they've come out with just because i feel the textures are more consistent across the board but you might have to tap on the mats and not blend them on i think this still looks significantly cooler overall even with the inclusion of rot but you see how much more intensity we have on this eye versus what we get from the mink shade in Supreme Nudes. I'm just gonna go the other way and apply what's this Supreme because there is not an olive shade in the Rust palette. There is in the Gemini palette. I believe the metallic is more of like a neon, 
uh, lime green shade, but the olive color exists in the mattes. Just sweeping in a little more of, what is this? Silhouette, just to smooth that out. And I'm gonna go in with Redox. I think this is gonna be a nice, beautiful pairing. Looking good, looking good. I'm just tapping around Redox like I did on the other side to just make that smooth. Taking Lavish again, inner part of the eye. Tarnish on this part of the eye. This is with my Isom W21. All right, let's apply the lower lash link, concealer and some lashes and I'll be right back. Here's a close up of both lids on the lashes. I have the same Ardell Naked Lashes in 421. We have the Olive Moment on the Supreme Nude side with the cooler toned mattes. And then we have Redox on the Melt Rust side with the warmer toned mattes. And I think the other similar metallics are Bronziana from Supreme Nude and Redox from Rust. So I'll swatch those when we pan out. I mean, these are totally different looks, even though the darker mattes are similar in undertone. I think you get a little more smoke and intensity from the melt mattes. And here's a wide shot of the look. I have the same Mel Thompson and Christian Aldet collab lip liner in the shade Smooches, but with the Artist Color Supreme Nude Silk Cream Lipstick in the shade Saucy Gal. These eyes are distinctly different simply because we used an olive matte versus a bronzy pink matte. If you wanted to see Redox next to Bronziana. So here's Redox from Melt. That's how that bronze shade looks like. And then Bronziana from Supreme Nudes right next to it. Redox has almost like a little bit of more, I want to say rose gold copper. It's touch warmer than the one found in Bronziana, but Bronziana still has like a nice pink reflect in there that is evident since I applied that shade under the lower lash line on the Supreme Nude side. But the only thing I would say in regards to these two looks is that you create more smoke with the Rust Palette simply because you have darker mattes in there. However, you have a wider spectrum of undertones that exist in the Supreme Nudes Palette in that you have neutral, warm, and cool tone mattes to pair with four metallic shades versus only three found in the Rust Melt Palette. And here's another look of both eyes just so you can get an idea of how these shades look in comparison to both palettes. They're both beautiful, but again, Let's pan out so we could talk about it. I think it all comes down to your lifestyle, your skin complexion, if you like to wear smoky or if you want that opportunity to really intensify your looks. In terms of what the Rust palette has to offer, you definitely have that possibility. Given with Mar and Rot, these are gonna give beautiful smoke, but it's not completely black. It has a brown base to it that I like sometimes to create smoky eye looks with and not just rely on the black. It could be very intense, but at least you have that option if you like to go soupy, soupy. If you like to go super smoky during the day. The medium tone shades are more mustardy, warm, yellow, peach as you see in comparison to the Supreme Nudes palette. And then of course you only have the three metallic shades here, the goldy bronze, the more true copper bronze, and then you have like a very cool tone bronze which I think is gorgeous. I mean go to easy combination whether you go with Mar, Ravage, or Ravage and Rot. The smoky bronze look you'll create will be magnificent. With Supreme Nudes, you do have more variety. You have the 12 shades, but you also have the different undertones present. You have the cooler tones, you have the mustard, you got the warm, and you have four metallic shades that I think have a little more reflectivity than the ones found in Rust. And I love the Rust metallics. I was very impressed with how they bumped up the quality of them, how they were easy to apply. They were consistent on application. They looked smooth, they weren't spotty, they weren't sheer and just thin and did nothing. They actually had body to them and they had stick to them. I do feel you have a little more reflectivity in this formula. I mean, the shine on these, amazing. And I love Supreme. I have Supreme on my lid. Amazing metallic formula. And again, you also have more variety with the mattes presented to you here. The one thing, however, if you are my skin tone and lighter, you probably don't need another deeper shade than Mink, but if you're me or deeper and you want more intensity than what Mink from Supreme News has to offer, then you're gonna get that from the Rust palette given with Mar and Rot. And also, 
I think, practically speaking, in terms of palette design, the Supreme News palette is just more practical. It's smaller, it's slimmer. I find that I don't have a lot of makeup bags that could fit this. I probably have two as opposed to several more that I could fit this palette in. Also, I much prefer the mirror in this palette. It's bigger, it stands up by itself. I don't need to set it up against a, a surface to keep the mirror up, whereas this mirror is, I mean, it's good for just the eyes, but sometimes I wanna see my whole face while I'm applying my eye makeup just to get a wider look of how the eyes are coming together in real time. And that's the only reason why I would say go with the Artist Couture palette. Not only is it $40, it's cheaper than the Rust palette. The Rust palette is $58, I believe. Yes, $58, I had to double check. And that's what I would say. You have to weigh out how you like to travel with your makeup. I know we're not going anywhere fast right now. In the future, however, you have to think about how you like to travel with your makeup, what tones you usually gravitate towards, if you even like olive, if you even like any of the shades that exist in the Rust palette. If you were thinking about Biba, I know some of you were like, well, what about Biba? Biba has a lot of warm and neutral tone browns, whereas the Supreme News has both warm and cool tone browns. I think it's a little more comprehensive. And even though Biba has the last row of the grays and the black shade and I believe seed, which is like the cooler brown out of all the deeper browns that exist in Biba. I think you still have more variety here in terms of the undertone in mattes. This is, I think, just a lot more edited. And again, I feel easy to deal with, easy to use. I had a blast using this during my review video, as well as the Rust palette. But again, you have to choose the one that's going to give you the eye looks that you wear mostly. It's really hard for me to choose because I love the Rust palette. I think it's extraordinary. I consider it a favorite of the month simply because I was just so impressed by the quality since I was not expecting that given my experience with the previous Mel eyeshadow palettes. What I will say though, I do like the variety given here in Supreme News. I just like how you have different tones of the metallic shades and you have different tones of the matte shades. I know I'm not the deepest skin tone and that's why I would always say if you want something deeper than mink then definitely go with the rust palette but mink for me I think is pretty good as a smoky shade even for evening if I really wanted to bump it up I would just dip out and use a black shade to deepen the intensity but I feel mink is good enough for me if I wanted to create some really nice smoke but the smoky smoke 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 is coming from the rust palette most, most definitely. So hopefully this video helped you friends in deciding which palette you wanted. If you were thinking about either of them for the Sephora Spring Sale, you, we don't need either palette. I just wanna make that very clear but I know people still have wish lists going and despite what's happening, I think we're all adults and we could choose for ourselves if we are in an appropriate position to spend money. If we don't, then we don't. And neither of these palettes are going anywhere. These are both permanent. I know a sale's coming up and we might feel a little anxious in trying to grab these products when they're discounted, but keep in mind, this is not gonna be the only sale. The economy is not doing well and a a lot of brands are going to be pushing sale after sale after sale I have a feeling in the future so this won't be your last opportunity to grab these palettes discounted I'm sure when Artist Couture gets the palette back in stock again maybe Angel might have a sale on his site I don't know if this is sold on other retailers but definitely keep an eye out get on his mailing list and I'm sure that notification will get out if it does happen or maybe you just don't buy it and it's okay to not buy it because you're sick of the nudes, you feel you got these shades in your singles, you feel like you have these shades that exist in other palettes, that's cool too. So you know how I like to do comparison videos. I think it's fun just to kind of learn about the palettes more, get a little more perspective on what they have to offer, and present the different possibilities these palettes present depending on your skin tone hypothetically, and that I wanted to help with as well. Let me know what you think, friends, down below, and until then, that is... A wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. 
I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, tutorial, shadow showdown. Get ready with me or nightly live chat. Take care and I'll see you again soon.